Hi guys, it's Daniel from the Tech Plague, and today we're going to be showing you how to create a TeamSpeak free server. So, first thing you're going to do is go to www.teamspeak.com and you'll get the standardized website come up. So, you want to go to download TeamSpeak 3, but you'll see it says server. Uh, I'm on a 64 bit system. You can find this out by pressing start and right click control panel and properties, and it will say here yeah, 64 bit operating system. So you're going to download the 64-bit one. You can choose any mirror you want. I just go with the standard one. No thanks. Take me to the download. I'll put this in the description. And now we're going to put this zip on the desktop. And then we're going to extract it. It's got a one on it. I've had another server on it. So we're going to extract to TeamSpeak 3 whatever you can now close your browser window and delete the, the zip if you want I'm gonna leave it there because I want to show you something else later so now you've got this new folder that's inside multiple folders so I'm just gonna drag that back to my desktop quickly because I prefer it like that so the first thing you're gonna do is run the exe that's in the folder as you can see that creates uh, sqlite.db not .db but uh, a database and you can allow access and it gives you this code. So you're going to want to open up your TeamSpeak client. And when you connect, oh, don't, you don't have to update. Uh, when you connect, you want to go 192.168. Point, and then whatever your local address is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that out. It's under details. And I'm 0 0.12. If you have your ports open correctly, then Connected. people outside will be able to connect to this. So as you can see, also the privilege key, I've already copied that, you do that, and you become the server admin. Uh, this can't be used because I'm currently using it to record. So you can rename the default server by clicking edit virtual server and calling it test server. And you press apply or whatever, whatever you want to use. Um, so you can, uh, under, under this one particularly, it has most of the main settings, such as like uh, what the anti-flood is, logging, etc. Uh, unless you get a license, you cannot actually have more than 32 in as far as I know. You can set a welcome message, so you say hello and welcome. So now if someone disconnects and reconnects, it now says hello and welcome. Uh, you can rename the default channel. You can create new default channels to add to that in seconds. So you call it like lobby. You don't really need to do this. I think de depending on how many people you're going to have in it and how powerful the server is, try and have this as high as possible. I'd say anything underneath five or four is not really acceptable because it doesn't sound so good. But uh, when I on my server that uh, I've got custom, I have mine on nine. So you can rename that. You can right click and create channel. And th the biggest issue people have it is they don't see it says temporary so they create a channel, channel and they join it and then when they disconnect and they reconnect connected. it's disappeared because it's only temporary and when everyone leaves the channel it will be gone so you want to make that permanent and then call it say games channel created. and then you can create a subcategory of that and call it steam games for channel example created. but that see it's easy to forget I've just made that temporary so we're going to make that permanent and say say the only thing you'll use your TeamSpeak server for is games you can click edit channel and make that the default channel, channel edited. so you can press control F1, F2, F3, F4 to get to various settings menus this is control on F1 and you can set the permissions for each group but say you want to move your TeamSpeak server to a different host so the first thing you're going to do is just copy this SQLite.db, this is the only file you need, so we're going to copy that to my desktop we're just going to move it, so I have to shut down the TeamSpeak server Avast so we're going to close the TeamSpeak server Disconnected. and then we can copy that and now we can go ahead and delete this entire folder that the server is stored in but do not panic, because what we do is download the other server again Extract it and then just drag this into that folder. And the second you're on the exe, everything will be back to normal. If I open up my TeamSpeak client, it's a new exe, so it wants the 
permission because yeah, we're back you've got hello and welcome you've got all these channels you can see a channel admin server admin um, and that's pretty much it it's surprisingly easy to get it up and running it's you can set avatars and do whatever you want so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe if it's helped you and thanks for watching